All right, as you can see, I have the Ranger TPS mounted to a 65 mil throttle body already. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you what's going on with that. Just as soon as I get the idle air control valve moved out of the way. Okay, excuse the lawnmower in the background, but now that the Ranger's idle air control valve is out of the way, uh, you may not run into this on Cobras, Cobra IACs and others, you know, the short ones. Uh, next, you got to remove the TPS itself. These feel like Phillips screws. I couldn't remember what I stuck in there last time. So, let's get that done. So, as you can see here, my current solution to this problem was just a washer. Uh, if you look at the shaft on the throttle body, there's a notch cut in it. Uh, yes, those are Volvo injectors. Um, there's a notch cut in it where the lock, where the washer meets up to it. So this piece replaces that washer. Let's see if I can get this out. Well, it just fell right out. So slip the adapter piece onto the throttle shaft there. Slip the TPS on over the top. Put the screws in, and we'll check the voltage. Make sure it's happy. TPS is installed. Let's plug it back in. Not worried about the idle air control valve just yet. Come around here. Hopefully my laptop can behave itself. A quick little function check. Feels good. Doesn't feel any different. Close that. Close that. Tuner Pro. So I turn the key, which is on my belt loop. Trying to avoid showing you my messy floorboard. So we'll connect to it. Right there, mode's quarter horse. Data log, dashboard. TP 222, that's a little high. But it should be self calibrating. So, let's go give it for a quick rip. Oh, I can't. I had a control valves unhooked. But it's stable. So that's cool. Um, Put the ICV back on and give her a test drive. So far, so good. It's a little bit variable, but it is going into closed throttle mode. So I'm going to call that a win.